walking to my flat and I find you in bed with her. And you tell me to calm down. I mean, calm down. I couldn't believe it when my niece turned up in the paper. It was only the recorder. But still, oh, she was a looker. They all are these days. It's about 12 years ago. She had her picture on the front page. That's nice. Mm. They dug her up by the conservatory. Oh, I've always wanted a conservatory. She'd been there for ages. Had to make do with a shed. Overreacting. You know what happened. You know. Doesn't that matter to you? I'll tell you what. You get back up to that flat. You pack up your bags. And you get out of here. I can't do this anymore. I can't help you anymore. I've tried, Philip. For do it no. I still don't know why you asked us here today. You're gonna be watching X Factor now. Look, it's because I've got something to tell you both. Now I don't want you to tell Dad yet. But... Well, why? What's the matter? Don't look at me like that. Just tell me. Well, this is something I've been aware of for quite a while. No. Oh no! Don't say it, please. I I can't hide it anymore. Um, I'm straight. I knew it. I didn't know how to tell you before. I always knew it. How? The way you walk. A totally straight way of talking. This is so embarrassing. I don't understand. I mean, aside from me and your dad, we haven't got any in the family. Even your sister would rather drink from the furry cup. I oh, know. I'm sorry. That'll be heartbroken. Is it me? Is it something we've done? I mean, I know your dad's quite a masculine man, but I mean, is that what? It's his hormones, Mum. Mum, please. It's just the way I am. Well, I suppose we'll be having. Buddy grandchildren now.